There's only four types of metal that I invest in. Big iron, big lead, big silver, and big gold. Let's get into it. Okay, joking aside, funny intro aside, I have invested in silver, gold, lead, and guns over the years. And I think that they can be a great tool and a great asset for you. And in this video, I'm gonna explain a little bit of my mindset behind why I invest in precious metals. And I know already you guys are like, what the heck, this is a steel target company. Why are we talking about precious metals? Well. I like to think of our mini ADAP systems as pretty precious. And I think our season targets are also pretty precious. And uh, especially that mini vital, that one is very precious. So you also can invest in precious metals, but that's not what I'm talking about today. A little bit of a teaser, guys. And I will explain throughout this video exactly what we're gonna be doing. But there is an opportunity to get some free precious metals when you purchase some of our target systems for a period of time. And I will go over this down in the description. We'll go over this on our website and I'll talk about it in this video. But I know there's a lot of hate when it comes to the topic of precious metals. The first thing I wanna get off of my chest is the fact that I'm never going to just blanketly tell you guys, go invest in precious metals. I'm not an investor advisor, I should say. I'm not an advisor for you guys. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your money but I have learned some things and then I'll do some calculating and I'll explain why I purchased the silver the way that I have. But ultimately, up until a certain period of time in our nation, our currency was backed by gold and silver. And if you don't know what gold looks like, um, I'm holding a piece of gold here. This is gold. It's the yellow metal that's very pretty. Everybody likes to look at gold, but this is gold. So the currency backed by gold are coins, which a lot of people call junk silver. These are oftentimes quarters, dimes, 50 cent pieces that are pre-1964 or say 1964 and older are 90% silver. So at a period in our country, we actually had currency that was made from real precious metals. I know it's a weird concept to think that our government would have removed us from a standard that kept stability and uh, consistency in our economic situations, but I digress. And there's a couple different ways that people will purchase precious metals. And precious metals typically are viewed as gold, silver, there's platinum. I think palladium is one thing that people collect. I typically focus on gold and silver, and that's all I've purchased to date. And we're not gonna talk about how much or how little I've purchased because I do know the Fed watches these videos. And I paid cash. FBI, open up! So, we'll dive into that a little bit then too. But ultimately, I look at precious metals in this particular fashion. And I get a lot of grief from some of my friends who are investors as well because they can't see the value of collecting a metal. Because a lot of people struggle to say, okay, this is silver, it's worth something, but let's say the economy collapses. How do I trade this for a chicken or eggs or a loaf of bread or whatever it is? What if this becomes worth $300 for one ounce? Why would I trade this for some milk? And you guys are missing a little bit of a, a crucial point to this. It's a mindset thing. I do not look at silver and gold as a quick flip turn it into cash kind of investment. Inflation is happening rapidly. You guys have all felt this. You have all seen how the dollar is less and less powerful. All of the things that you used to be able to get for a dollar, and I, I looked it up, I'll actually read this to you guys. Where the dollar is at currently, in 2015, so this is about the period when I bought this silver, $1 in 2015 is equivalent in purchasing power to about $1.27 today. That's an increase of 27 cents over eight years. This is a producing a cumulative price increase of 26.93%. That means today's prices are 1.27 times as high as average prices were 
back in 2015. So what that means is our dollar is worth less. We have to spend more of those dollars to buy things. And that's where these precious metals come into play. I look at precious metals as a hedge against inflation. And I'll explain. So let's say I took $2,800 and I bought silver at $14 an ounce, okay? We'll just do some basic math here. So that would be 200 ounces of silver. Multiply that by 1.27 times. And what you would expect to pay for that is 35.56. If the silver matched the inflation. If everything just incrementally increased at the same rate, what cost me $2,800 in 2015 would now cost me $3,550 right now. But silver is currently at a spot price of $22 an ounce, and you can buy it if you get lucky for between $24 to $25 an ounce. So if you take that $24 times 200 ounces, and you subtract that from the number we just came up with, that means I am $1,244 ahead of inflation. So in total, what I have made on this silver, if I would sell it out today, is $2,000 on this silver in this hypothetical situation. But I'm not selling it. I didn't buy this to sell it. I bought this to say, I don't want liquid cash in my hand. And I don't invest everything in precious metals, but I don't want a ton of cash in my hand. I want to have my cash locked into something that as inflation goes up, the value of this goes up. As economic hard times increase, the value of this goes up. And yes, it is volatile. And if you look at the example of gold, gold has been extremely volatile. It went from 1,700 an ounce to 2,000 an ounce to 1,800 to 1,900. It bounces all over the place. So that's why I'm saying this is not a quick flip investment. This isn't something that I buy and then I say, oh, I'm looking forward to selling this in a year and making a couple hundred bucks. I lock my money into precious metals and I'm gonna sit on this until there's an emergency or I need cash or I need something desperately. This locks my cash into something that isn't liquid, which what I mean is it would be hard for me to go to somebody right now and say, I wanna buy groceries with this. But I could certainly go to a pawn shop and say, pay me for this, and I need a liquid form of money, which is cash, and I can then take that cash and go purchase the things that I need. And because this has increased in value, and I bought it at the right time, and it is beating out inflation, so what I mean by that is I can charge more for this piece of silver than what it would have been in a ratio against inflation, I would make out really good if I sold the precious metals that I bought today. And historically, when you look at the past performance of gold and silver, it is just a constant climb. And there are dips, there's ebbs and flows, just like every other investment. And that's why I say this is a supplemental thing for me. I do not have all my money in precious metals. So you might be asking yourself, okay, well, cool, that sounds fun, but how would I get into this? How would I go purchase gold and silver? Does the government track these purchases? How does this work if I'm turning cash into an asset like this? And I'm just gonna show you guys a couple different things. So we have silver rounds. These are the ones that I buy a lot. This is just a design on the front. It doesn't have to be this design, but they're one ounce, one troy ounce. They're fine silver, so they're 0.9999% pure silver. This is one great way to purchase bulk coins, have them in a convenient container, like a little plastic sleeve. You can store these in your safe. And like I said, if you have 20 ounces like I have in this particular sleeve, those particular ounces of silver, the money you put into that is now somewhat protected against inflation. Again, no guarantees, but in my experience, it's been a good investment for me and it's made me feel a lot better about the cash situation and seeing where our economy and everything else is going. The other thing that I like to purchase is what we call junk silver coins. And these junk silver coins, like I said at the beginning of the video, are silver coins that are US minted coins. So these are legal currency that were in circulation and were manufactured up until around 1964. And there's a trick to tell whether or not a quarter or a dime is a silver quarter or dime. And if you turn it on its side and you don't see a copper ring, definitely look at that date. If it says 1964 or older, you probably have a silver coin in your midst there. The new quarters have a line of copper around the edge and it's very easy. You can just take a stack of quarters, 
You can stick them in your hand just like this. You can hold them sideways. If you see any copper on the side of these quarters, they are not silver. They're just a fiat currency, just like our Fiat Republic. Fake, full of phonies, if you catch my drift. But these are a great way to have silver. They're not pure silver, they're 90%, but you can have silver in a tangible form, something that can be easily exchanged and traded and bartered with. And I like the idea of junk silver for that reason. I use the example of purchasing a chicken or, I don't know, buying a cow or eggs or a gun or whatever. You might not want to give away a full ounce of silver, but I could give away a silver dime. I could take this little silver dime and that might be in a collapse worth eggs or bread or food or water or oil for my vehicle or fuel or firewood or whatever you name it. Make no mistake, if a society collapses, there will be bartering and trade and currencies will be created. There's, there's just no way around it. People will trade for things. Gold and silver since the dawn of man has had intrinsic value. It has had value and prestige for royalty and governments and just regular people alike. Now, having coins like this in the smaller form definitely makes me feel better when it comes to bartering and trading. When we think about gold, gold is a tricky one for me because gold is extremely expensive and rare. And because of that, it's not liquid hardly at all. It's very difficult to take gold and turn it into a trade or a barter. And you also have to be careful. Good example is you could trade a nice rifle, like a bolt action rifle or something for an ounce of gold. That might be a good trade for you. But if you needed to trade for food, unless you're buying a month and a half worth or two months or three months or four months worth of food, probably not the best idea to take an ounce of gold and trade for that. So gold is a bit tricky. When I think about getting into precious metals and I think about teaching people about them and why I purchase them and, and how to get into them, it gets me excited to talk about silver. And silver in particular is one of the most obtainable precious metals that you can purchase. And that's why I'm talking about this on a Steel Target Company page. So what are we doing about this? Well, you guys might remember back in 2020 when the ammo crisis kicked off and you couldn't find ammo anywhere what our team did was purchase bulk ammunition and we offered that in packages with our steel targets on our site. So right now in our day and age, in our current situation in our economy, I know that the financial sector is a big burden for everybody. I know that you guys are stressed out just like I am. I know that you're experiencing inflated costs. I know that a lot of you might even be looking at losing jobs or wondering where your next meal's coming from. There's a lot of pressure on our nation. So what we're going to do to help you guys out is we purchase bulk silver. And I've never heard of a steel target company doing this before, but we are doing a precious metal promotion. What that means is, if you buy a mini ADAP target system, I am going to send you two ounces of silver for free. Currently, spot price is $22 at the making of this video. These are selling for between $25 and $27 an ounce. So at minimum, that is a $50 value that I'm just gonna give to you guys for free. And I know that it might seem crazy and I know that my business owner friends are currently raging in the background saying, you're crazy, Jared, don't do this. But at the end of the day, there's a couple reasons I own this business and there's a couple reasons that I built this business. First off, it's to take care of our community. It's to educate people and impact the world around us. I want to have a lasting legacy where people can say, Jared Dobb, he did something for this nation. He made a change. My kids can look up to me and say that I did a good job at changing this culture and impacting people. The other thing is, obviously, I want to grow into my own financial freedom. I want to see myself down the road being able to impact even more people. I want to hire more people on our team. I want to change their lives and have an impact in their lives as well. So this business is about far more than selling a steel target. But I know that even though there's economic hard times, a lot of you are blessed with excess and you've supported us over the years and for that I'm extremely grateful. So when I get an opportunity to take care of you guys and pour back into you guys, I want to do it. So that's what we're going to be doing guys and we're going to do this while we have supplies. So I have no end date currently, but if you get on our website after the time of making this video, when you see this video, get on our website, look up the mini ADAP target system, you will see that as soon as you add one to your cart, automatically it's going to add two ounces of silver to your cart for zero dollars. The other package and promotion that we're offering is a steel target base 
with a 50 pack of cardboard. So when you buy one of our Gen 2 bases with a pack of 50 USPSA targets, you're gonna get one ounce of silver. And again, this is while supplies last. I don't have an unlimited amount of silver, but while the supplies are there, we're gonna keep running this promotion because I care about you guys. I care about our nation. And what I plan on doing on our Instagram page is releasing a ton of content surrounding precious metals, why our entire team invests in them and how they have changed our lives and our outlook. And then I'm gonna be able to invest in you at the exact same time. So guys, for all the years of support and for all of the purchases and the ways you guys have shared our pages and paid it forward, I appreciate you. I appreciate the fact that you are helping to support us and in turn, you're impacting the culture around you. So guys, stay well, stay safe, get in on this deal, get some precious metals along with some other precious metals, which are the steel targets, and they are precious, I promise. Save some money. You're making an investment in yourself. And guys, we'll see you in the next one.